In this video, we'll discuss the special angles for trigonometry. And we are going to use two different right angled triangles to help us discuss the special angles of 45 degrees, 30 degrees, and 60 degrees for all three trig ratios. Let us start with our first triangle. Here we have angles of 45 degrees and a right angle of 90 degrees. For this triangle, we'll use the lengths of the sides as one unit each. And by using Pythagoras, we can find the length of the hypotenuse, which is the square root of 2. And to help us find the trick ratios, we'll use the anagram SOKATOA. So for the sine ratio, I have the length of the opposite divided by the length of the hypotenuse. So from 45 degrees, the opposite length is 1. And the length of the hypotenuse is square root of 2. So the sine of 45 is 1 over square root of 2. For cosine, I use the length of the adjacent side divided by the length of the hypotenuse side. So the cosine of 45 degrees is adjacent of 1 over square root of 2. Now the sine of 45 and the cos of 45 are both the same. And they also can be presented as the square root of 2 over 2 instead of 1 over square root 2. And lastly, we have the tan of 45 degrees, which is the length of the opposite divided by the length of the adjacent. So that is 1 over 1. And that is also equal to just 1. Now let's move on to our second triangle. The length of the one side would be 1, and the length of the hypotenuse equal to 2. And again, we can use Pythagoras to find the length of the missing side. So the sine of 30 degrees is the opposite, which is 1, over the hypotenuse of 2. So that is a half. For the cosine of 30 degrees, I have the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse. So that is square root of 3 over 2. And the tan of 30 degrees is the opposite side divided by the adjacent side. So that is 1 over the square root of 3. Now for the sine of 60 degrees, I'd start at 60 degrees. And the length on the opposite side of 60 degrees is the square root of 3. And the hypotenuse is 2. So sine of 60 is square root of 3 over 2. Cos of 60 degrees is the length of the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. So that is 1 half. And the tan of 60 degrees is the opposite over the adjacent side. So that is simply the square root of 3 over 1, or we can say the square root of 3. Now for both of these triangles, you simply need to memorize each of these triangles with their unique angle sizes and lengths in order to answer questions. So let us do a few examples where we will simplify expressions without the use of a calculator. First, we have sine of 30 plus the cos of 60. So the special triangle that I need to use is the one with 30 and 60 degrees in it. And from the special triangle, we know that the sine of 30 is 1 over 2, which is a half. And the cos of 60 is 1 over 2 as well, and that is 1 half. And a half plus a half is equal to 1. We can also use the special angles when we have two trig ratios that we are multiplying with each other. And we will use the same triangle from memory as before. So the tan of 30 is the opposite over the adjacent. So that is 1 over square root 3. And the sine of 60 is square root of 3 over 2. So in order to simplify this multiplication, I can see that the square root 3 in the numerator would cancel out the square root of 3 in the denominator, so I'm left with 1 over 2. In our third example, we have sine of 45 times cos of 45 divided by cos of 30 times the sine of 60. Now we need both special triangles. So I draw them from memory and I find all of these ratios. So sine of 45 is 1 over square root of 2 times the cos of 45, which is also 1 over square root 2, divided by the cos of 30, which is square root 3 over 2, times the sine of 60, which is also square root 3 over 2. First, I will multiply out the fractions in the numerator. So I have 1 times 1 over square root 2 times square root 2, which is equal to 1 half. 
and I'm dividing it by square root of 3 times square root of 3 over 2 times 2. So that is 3 over 4. And previously, you would have learned about tips and times when we divide fractions of one another. So that will change into multiplying 1 half by 4 over 3. So when I simplify, I have 4 over 6 or 2 over 3. We can also use the special triangles to solve theta without a calculator. So let's say we have 2 sine theta minus the square root of 3 equals to 0. What we want to do is isolate the sine theta by making it the subject of the formula. So what I did is I moved the square root of 3 to the right hand side and that became positive square root of 3. And in order to have sine theta alone on the left, I divided both sides by 2. So I have sine of theta is the square root of 3 over 2. So from this ratio, I can identify that I need the 30-60 degree triangle. I also know that this ratio represents opposite over hypotenuse. So in this triangle, we can see that the hypotenuse is 2 and the angle size opposite square root of 3 is 60. Therefore, theta is equal to 60 degrees.